Hello, this is Amanda from IDPN, the I Do Photographer Network. Now that we have our action sets loaded from our video last week, we're going to set up a color code and an F key to make using them easier. You'll also notice that we've moved to CS6 for this video, so things look a little different, but they work in much the same way as before. So we're going to get started. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that your action palette is open. If you don't see it on the right here, you can open it with the window menu. The thing about actions is, no matter how great a set is, and today we're using some really lovely new sets from Totally Rad and Paint the Moon, but no matter how great it is, you're still likely to only use a handful of actions from any given set over and over and over again. Some of these, like the Pro Retouch actions, come color-coded already. So I know, for example, if I'm looking for the Iris Lightener action, I know it's in the blue section because the I section is the blue section. But some of them, like these sets from Paint the Moon, don't have any color coding at all. So we're going to open an action and give it a color so that I can find it more easily in this sea of gray. So each palette in Photoshop has a separate palette menu, and they hide under this list icon in the upper right hand corner. So we're going to click on that menu, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take it out of button mode. Button way is the quickest way to button mode, excuse me, button mode is the quickest way to play actions, but we can't tinker with the actions once it's on. So we're going to go down and highlight the Muse action because that's one I use a lot, and we're going to go back to the palette menu and click on action options. So this will allow us to assign a color right here. So we're going to give it violet just for fun. And if we click back on button mode, you will see that it's very easy to see now in this list of gray, so I can I can find it and use the actions more easily. So, so now we're going to assign an action a function key, so that all we have to do is click the keyboard once and the action runs. Again, we need to turn off button mode so we can tinker with the actions. We're going to scroll up this time into uh, the Pro Retouch actions by Totally Rad. We're going to grab Foundation Medium and go back to the action options. And this time we're going to assign a function key here. So we're going to give it F1. And I'm also going to make it so I have to hold down the shift key while I hit F1. Because I have a tiny keyboard and it thinks that I need to make the uh, the monitor brighter or darker when I use F1. And I don't I don't want it to do that. I just want it to, to play the action. Um, I also know that this is the orange group. So I'm going to give it a blue color so that it stands out from the orange group. So again, if we go back to button mode we scroll back up, we can see that action very clearly in the orange group. And now all I have to do is hit Shift F1 and it will run the action. So it's a very simple way to help organize what can be a crazy list of actions, especially as you accumulate more and more of them. So that is all for today's quick and easy Photoshop tutorial on actions. Be sure to check back later this week when we'll show you how to create a simple action of your own.